Chain, Max, C. Three of the most iconic words that many duelists may remember, they may have nightmares over, and for a lot of players, even a lot of you that are watching this video right now, you may have never experienced these words. What's going on you guys? Slim here today to finally bring you guys my discussion, what I call the eternal discussion, should Max C return to the game of Yu-Gi-Oh? If you guys are new here, consider subscribing, hit the notification bell, you guys will be notified whenever I upload, you also be notified when I stream over on Twitch, link is in, link is in the description. Max C is without a doubt probably one of the most iconic hand traps. It is one of the original hand traps, and it is a card that has been gone for quite some time, and it is one of the biggest debates in all of our game, should this card be off the ban list, and if it should come back, how many copies should be allowed to be played. Now I'm gonna crush that first part very quickly. Max C should exist at zero or three. There is no in between. Anyone, anyone who says otherwise is incorrect. I thought, okay, one Max C. It's too sacky. Two copies of Max C. What is the point? Like, honestly, what is the point? You, you lower the consistency just a little bit of not seeing it. Three copies or zero copies, there is no in between. Everyone has decided that and I full heartedly agree. It can only come back in that capacity. Now, I asked you guys in the community tab, I asked you guys on Twitter what you guys honestly think. Should it come back? Should the card come back? I'm gonna read some of your guys' response and we're gonna talk about my opinions as well. I think that a lot of people uh, have really divided uh, opinions on this card and people have also compared other hand traps to the reason why this card cannot come back but I'm going to you know do what I can and show you guys you know my personal thoughts on it so I'm gonna knock it out real quick with my personal thoughts do I want Maxi back yes why do I want Maxi back because we're in combo heavy formats you need a card like Maxi to slow down your opponent and you know it can help you draw cards it can also hinder their turn there can be a counter argument for this, that's fine. There are also cards that stop Max C. The other problem people will argue is if I'm allowed to have Max C, my opponent's allowed to have Max C, which means that if they're playing a combo deck, not only are they playing a combo deck, but that combo deck also includes Max C. There's many arguments. We'll just we'll kind of debunk them all as we continue, but I honestly think uh, you know there's a lot of reasons for why uh, you know why this card could come back or why it cannot come back so i'm going to give you guys just some of your guys' uh, opinions that you guys wrote here real quick and then tell you guys what i think have a lot of people saying that zero the card is actually just too powerful uh we've got if all these hand traps don't get limited or, li or semi-limited it might come back I, I honestly don't think that has anything to do with it if there's a format where max c should be at three it's definitely this one i agree just remember the combo decks can still drop max c exactly we'll talk about that as well we need Max C. This era is becoming uh, becoming more of break my board and only combos in the first turn. Very true. Max C can hinder that. People have their opinions already. Some people think the card should not exist. Cards like Cross, a, cross Out Designator uh, allow mid range of control. We've got other people saying that the card can get back at three. We also have cards like Call by the Grave. We have cards like Ash that can stop the card. There's a lot of things like that. Some people think that it will come back. Some people think it will not come back. Their inclusion in the card pool makes, car makes decks less diverse and hurts product sales. Uh, people want other cards back, but the truth is, it might. Some people think it is balanced balance enough to come back. You have to really look at what Max C does. For those of you that don't actually know what Max C does, it simply reads: You can activate this card during either player's turn by sending this card from your hand in the graveyard. This turn, each time your opponent special summons a monster, draw one card, and you'll activate one copy per turn. Okay. Case in point, you can draw Max C at the start of your opponent's turn before they even special summon. The best way to get the most value out of Max C is to guarantee Max C. The best way to do that is the minute you see uh, an inherit summon or anything that can, you know, anything that starts a chain that would start a special summon, drop, drop Max C, you're going to draw a card and then it's up to your opponent to continue or not. Now, I feel that this format we're in, Ad Emancipator, El Sil a Synchro Eldritch, now the Dragon Link deck, the Dragon Link FTK deck. Cards like Max C would be very valuable because they could slow down the opponent. It might not hinder your opponent's entire play, but it could stop them. It could also, uh, you know, be countered because there's a lot of counters to it. There's cards like Appalooza. There's cards like Call by the Grave. There's cards like we've already mentioned. There are cards like Ash Blossom. Ash Blossom actually stops this card for people who don't know. You can just Ash the Max C and then the Max C is negated. So that's just one thing. I don't think a lot of people realize that. Another, another inclusion that people talk about is that, okay, we don't need Max C because we have other cards. We have cards like Nibiru. Nibiru is being seen as the new age Max C. 
I can kind of see that, but I kind of can't. So while Nibiru does punish the opponent for overextending, as does Max C, this is more of a board wipe. This is more of a break the board before the board gets built idea. And then the opponent can still combo with the token and continue playing. So I actually do not compare Nibiru to it. They're really, it's very hard for me to compare this card to Max C, but I can see the, I can see kind of the comparison that it is uh, a card used to slow down combo decks. But I don't think that's reason enough to warrant Max C not coming back. Another card people mentioned is Phantasme. So Phantasme, has the draw aspect that Maxi has. However, it's limited. You drop it on one Link Monster, you draw two cards, put one back. You drop it on multiple Link Monsters, you draw that many plus one, put back, etc. This also provides a body, where Maxi does not. Maxi does not provide a body. Maxi is literally, you discard it, and if your opponent doesn't special summon, you literally went neg one. So that's one thing to remember, whereas Phantasma can get you a plus. People need to remember that back when Maxi was re uh, released, the last time I played Maxi at three, for anyone wondering, was during Dragon Wolf D Ruler format. You played three Maxi and you also played Effect Veiler. But back then, Maxi and Effect Veiler were really your only hand traps. No one even referred to DD Crow, the good old homie DD Crow, as a hand trap. And because of that, it just kind of went under the radar. Back in the day, Maxi and Veiler were what you had. In the 2012 format prior to that, I played it in a Dino Rabbit because Dino Rabbit needed Maxi and it needed Effect Veiler. You needed these cards because you needed to be able to combat the wind up hand loop. These were the best cards for it. Maxi could draw you into Veiler, Veiler could stop their plays from going off, etc., etc. The cards were very strong and you had to play them. Those formats called for them. But again, these were the only hand traps. There was also another thing that was brought up to me that was Dark Ruler No More becomes kind of a reason why Maxi doesn't need to come back. You just Dark Ruler whatever your opponent puts up and it becomes irrelevant. I don't think that's a good enough argument. I can see where people are coming from. However, I think Dark Ruler isn't a different class of cards of its own. It's more of a break my board kind of card similar to Nibiru. I wouldn't really put it in the same class as being a reason why Maxi can't come back. But another thing that I want to mention is that, okay, like I said, look at our format. Look at all the decks. The problem would be if I'm playing a deck like Mech Knight Evoked, I'm going to go second deck, obviously. I drop Maxi. I start drawing cards. My opponent, you know, can stop, whatever. I go to my turn. I start. They drop Maxi. Guess what? They're drawing cards. Who's going to win in a combo deck versus a regular deck? I just call it regular deck for the video purpose. A non-combo deck versus a combo deck, and the combo deck includes Max C. Who's going to win? It's usually the combo deck, because the combo deck is going to continue to draw cards and they continue to hinder you, and their combo has already started and they can continue. And Maxi is only as strong as how far it gets you. That's one thing to remember. But people have to remember one thing as well. Back in the day, Maxi did not have a counter. You could not counter Maxi. There was no Call by the Grave. There was no Ash Blossom and Joyous Springs. There was no direct answer to Maxi except to stop or to play Maxi, uh, play into the Maxi challenge. And that is something that players might still do. If you're playing an FTK deck similar to the Dragon Link deck and you can literally play through Max C and continue playing and then put up an Appalooza or something that in turn would negate an Nibiru or a, another hand trap that would stop you, would you not do it? I know a lot of players would because, okay, they're going to draw a lot of cards, but if you get to your monster negates before they get to any more hand traps or they get to Nibiru and you already have an Appalooza or a Boral Savage or anything that stops it, you're in the clear. What did Maxi do for them? It drew them some cards, but those cards were not enough to be an out. So that is one thing that I will argue for a card like Maxi is while it is extremely powerful and extremely decisive in a lot of matches, Maxi's impact would not be the same as it was back in the day. People have to remember that against all these crazy decks that existed, like decks like Necroz, decks like Dragon Rulers, decks like that were completely different. Maxi would always usually draw you a card, and Maxi would still draw you a card today, but again, there were not that many counters to this card. I personally think this card can come back. Like I said, it can only come back in one of two, only in one way, actually. It can only come back in three. There is no reason to have this card be a Saki one of that you might draw or might not draw, that you might open with and your opponent didn't open with it. And guess what? You win the game because you drew the one max C. I don't want that kind of format. It has to be three or it's zero. And I know it's a very difficult, you know, discussion for a lot of people to understand, but I personally feel that in any super like wombo combo, 20 minute turn, uh, format. Max C can hinder that. Max C can stop that. But there is still the counter argument. Now, my answer to the counter argument, I agree with you. I agree with you that it is a problem that the combo decks and the other decks could take advantage of this. However, it's kind of the way Yu-Gi-Oh has always been. There are always going to be broken cards that can be played. Phantasmate, Nibiru, they're amazing cards. They're both played this format. A combo deck is going to main deck them. 
a non-combo deck is going to main deck them. Both decks might get punished by them. One deck is going to get more advantage off of it, and that's just the way it is, and it's just something as players we have to accept and adapt to, and I think that's another thing is adapting to Maxi if it were to come back. I really think that this will forever be the eternal debate in Yu-Gi-Oh! Because most players are always going to be, you know, kind of kind of on the fence about it and saying, you know, I don't think it should happen. If it happens, you know, what, you know, what will be the benefit, you know, stuff like that. You know, a lot of people gave really good reasons as to why they think, uh, you know, Maxi should come back or should not. I have some other people here saying that uh, they think it's a terrible card. Um, it might be time for it to return to three. Combo decks are becoming more and more of a problem. Maxi punishes you for playing the game, which is why I think the card is badly designed. I agree with that as well. Maxi can be looked at as something that hinders you from special summoning. Special summoning is a mechanic of Yu-Gi-Oh. Maxi doesn't stop a mechanic. That is one thing. It is not a floodgate. It is a card that just says, okay, Every time you special summon, I'm going to draw a card, and one of those cards I draw might be the card that stops your entire combo or ends your turn completely. And that's just something that it always has been. This card has been around for a while, and even when it is, uh, you know, even though it has been banned for so long, I feel that it can only return at three, and at three, it would be very interesting to see what happens. Look at the OCG. Most decks are playing it in, in, of course, the full set. Now you don't even see it in that many decks. It's kind of weird, isn't it? It goes in and out. A lot of people realize, you know, there's too many counters, or if you're playing a combo deck, they'll the other issue you can have is drawing some of the one-of pieces you don't want to see that actually ruin your combo. So you see, for as many reasons there are to bring back Maxi, there are plenty of reasons to not bring it back, and there's also a lot of reasons why the card would not be as impactful as it was before. But I personally feel the card could come back, and I really want to know what you guys think. I've been wanting to have this discussion for a really long time. I wanted to open the you know the floor up to like a lot of the things you guys sent me to a lot of your just overall uh, ideas, and I think that overall I am a fan of you know people saying you know what they want about this. Card. Cards and people think this card is just really bad for the game. They think it should come back. But I think one thing uh, that I like to uh, include too is that the difference this time is that there are counters. There are answers to Maxi where there weren't before. And I think that's a huge turning tide for this card. And it'd be really interesting to see what happens if this card were to come back. Like I said, I don't think it, you know, will come back, unfortunately. I feel that if it does come back and it gets released at one, then two, then three, it's gonna be a real problem. I really hope that if they do decide to unban this card, it does just come straight to three because like I said, at one, it is the sackiest one of in the game and it's just gonna be too much. Like too many players are gonna rage over this and I think it really is a problem. I think that we have the ability to counter Max C. Our decks are strong enough now to play through Max C and punish what Max C can draw. And I think those are the main points to take away from this video is that while it can be one of the craziest cards in the game, it is not as powerful as the decks are today. Back then, it was. Now you have so many counters to it, it's crazy. But that's my overall thoughts, you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this discussion. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know your personal thoughts. Do you feel Maxi should come back or not? Do you think it should come back at three or zero? I don't want to hear people saying two or one because honestly, it just doesn't work. Trust me, I've made that mistake as well and said things like that. And I've listened to people's real arguments for why it's a zero or three card. But overall, I think the card is crazy. Overall, I wouldn't be surprised if it comes back one day. Everyone should have Mac access to Maxi. It actually got reprinted in, uh, I believe it was the Dinosaur deck or one of the decks that came as a common. So if you don't have, you know, your original set or whatever, you are able to you know, uh, you are able to pick those up. But just keep an eye on this card because we never know what could happen in Yu-Gi-Oh! And I think it's a card that every player should just have in their arsenal because the day it comes back, everything is going to change in this game. And it might change for the better, it might not, but I think it's a card that is just so iconic. I could not, you know, go this long without having a discussion on it and giving my personal thoughts. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. What do you think should happen to Maxi? It truly is the eternal debate here in Yu-Gi-Oh! And I feel this won't be the first, this definitely won't be the last time you hear me talking about Maxi on this channel, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.